Welcome to Fraser Park. This is our local pond at the public park. It used to be full of water, but now it's been drained to a puddle. So the frogs are relegated to the far corner. But everything's still green because there's water under the earth. I'm in the pond and I just realized that the governor of California likes to stand in empty ponds and reservoirs and do speeches from them. So I think it's interesting that I'm in one because just down the street there's one that has water in it. Just recently, the water company announced a rate hike and for families it'd be like double what they're paying now. And at the same time, they also restricted our usage of water. And the reason for all of this, they said, is because the state of California is in a drought. So if the state of California is in a drought, and I'm standing in an empty pond, and down the street there's a full pond just like this, what's the difference between these two ponds? This pond is in the public park. And this park is managed by the state of California. The state of California is in a drought. The pond down the street is on private property not owned by the state of California, and it has water in it, because the state of California doesn't manage that. So there's water. The state of California is just a business, and whatever the business needs to make revenue, they will do. And if it means throwing out, in this case draining, a resource, and they're not just doing it in ponds, they're doing it in reservoirs, then that means more money for them because now an abundant resource has become scarce. So the dollar amount goes up. But it's really just a dollar manipulation. And down the street there's water. In the state of California there is not water. So the state of California is a business. We're not in a, a state. We're not in a place. California is a place. We are in the public park run by a business called the state of California. And it's in their interest not to have water. Here's the pond, located in California. The state of California is a business, it's a fictional entity, and it's invented a fictional drought, because that's in its financial interest, and that's what business is about. Remember, the purpose of business is to protect the assets of the business and to increase revenue. But here in the real world, there's water, there's green growth, everything is healthy, it's the land of the living. The state of California is a fictional entity with a fictional drought. Here in California, the place, it snowed and rained in the winter, and now it's June. And it's really wonderful in June to still see all this water and greenery because this is the dry season. Now the media calls a dry season drought, and they call summer global warming. There are also no trails in the sky, and not really any planes. I only saw a couple earlier, no trails, and no flight. Interesting. We're on our way to our local waterfall. A water source not controlled by the state of California. Let's see how it's doing at this time of year. Well, this is some place. So, I understand that if you live in the desert or in LA, then maybe it's not so green. But we also have to be realistic. 
and understand our natural cycles of weather and the seasons. And understand that the earth does what it does. And at this time of year, it's dry. But the earth also has internal water sources, like these streams and waterfall, that originate in mountains and flow to the ocean, and they're perpetual. Not dependent on rain. It's time to take a realistic look around. Maybe get away from the TV because they're programming you to not understand the natural cycles of nature, of the climate, of the weather. And they're giving you unrealistic expectations because you've forgotten what the seasons are because you've been indoors, sequestered, Oh, we're walking right in it now. Away from what's real. Look at this. What is like this? It's, like it's coming out of the rocks themselves. Just gushing out. Like living water. All right, we're still climbing to get to the top of this. I would be very curious to see it after the snow melts because then I think we wouldn't be able to walk in it. Although it's kind of difficult right now too. Or gift in it. We have finally made it. To this place. Well, year round water is a good thing. This is real living water. This is living water in the real world, the land of the living. The state of California is a dead entity. It's fictional, and it only exists on paper, and its drought is simply financial. It's having a little trouble with business right now. So it's dumping out lots and lots of this from its supplies, but this is still here. So I guess it's important to remember that even if the water company raises your rates, like in our neighborhood where families are going to be paying double, you know, even with stuff like that going on, just remember that it's here and don't be afraid. And look at the trees and look at how they continue to grow because the water is in the earth. We just can't see it, but it's under the earth. That's where it all comes from. The wells are not drying up. Everybody I know with a well has abundant water. It just continues to flow. And here, even in June, it continues to flow and the climate is correcting. Last night, it almost was freezing here. And in the Sierras, it was below freezing. So if we're still seeing freezing temperatures in our mountains and dunes, it's a very good sign. That's georestoration.